Hi you guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. Today is going to be fun because we are talking all about clean beauty deodorants, non-toxic deodorants, and I feel like it's a topic that needs to be talked about more because in the clean beauty world, there are so many deodorants, but a lot of them just don't function the way that you want them to. They just don't. You want your deodorant to work. But then there's a bunch of good ones out there and I feel like you try one deodorant in like a non-toxic deodorant and then a lot of people are like scared away because it didn't work when in reality there's a bunch of good ones out there it's just sometimes it's about the hunt and like trial and error but most people don't want to trial and error and like risk it for the day you know with deodorant sometimes they just want to slap it on and be like it works great everyone wants that so i have found a bunch of good ones and i've actually written about some of these on the cleanbeautycode.com so if you want more of like an in-depth like write out of everything, pros and cons of all the products, then you should check that out there. But we're gonna be talking about four amazing deodorants and you need these in your life. And I'm gonna talk you through every single one of them, let you know what's good, what's not good. I have been testing deodorants for a really long time and I'm a good test subject for deodorants because to be honest, when I sweat, it's not cute. Let's jump in and get into the video because I'm very excited. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe and let's talk about deodorant. of deodorants but like they are all really good so the first brand I want to talk about and the first deodorant I want to talk about is Ursa Major so this is the hopping fresh deodorant now Ursa Major has a couple deodorants this is the only one I'm recommending this is the hopping fresh mint and eucalyptus this scent is amazing they also have another scent i don't know if it's unscented or it's another combination the hopping fresh is bomb i love the mint and eucalyptus let me tell you kind of oh God, it smells so good it has like a sweet mint eucalyptus smell but it's not super earthy and gross it has like a really nice you know what it smells like exactly the orbits gum the one that's like the sweet mint that's what this smells like is kind of what that tastes like. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is exactly, it's that. It's literally sweet mint, Orbitz gum in a stick, and it's freaking bomb. It smells so good. When you apply it to your underarms, it has like a, it's not a very powdery finish, if that makes sense. Like, it's not just like white crap everywhere. It just, it goes on really easily. This will not stain your shirts. I'll say it again for the people in the back. This will not stain your shirts. This will not stain your white shirts because a lot of clean beauty deodorants stain your shirts. If you're like sweating a lot, if you're a sweaty person, sometimes it can just stain your clothing. This is not one of those. I have not had that issue at all with this. I have had an issue with that with other deodorants, but with this, it just does not do that. It applies beautifully and it lasts all day. I find with this that I don't have to apply it two times a day, like morning and night. But I do, I apply like, even when I was using conventional deodorant, I apply deodorant before bed and then I apply deodorant in the morning just because I tend to be a really hot sleeper. Like I'm very sweaty when I sleep. So it just feels like a good practice to put deodorant on before bed. But I freaking love this stuff. It's so, so good. It applies really smoothly. You don't really get, sometimes you will, but you don't really get the like, balls of deodorant unless you're of course applying a crap ton of deodorant and then with really any deodorant unless it's like one of those really like jelly ones or one of those really like liquidy ones where you'll get like little balls of deodorant but i do not have that issue with this this is amazing i really recommend checking it out okay next i want to talk about a new launch and i'm very excited to talk about this i have been testing this for two three weeks maybe and i am literally like shook to my kneecaps with this like i literally buckled when i tried it and it was just so freaking good so i'm talking about the kosa sport and this is the what is it serene clean 
scent and then they also have one that is scent free so if you don't like scent which i totally understand they have one for that too this is an aha like serum deodorant so it has a little ball like this and it just like applies like you roll it and it applies and it's like wet when it applies and then you can like leave your arms up to let it dry or just close them and then it just kind of does its thing it's so freaking good so this is an aha serum deodorant and What's amazing about this is I've worn like white shirts. I've been testing it out. It is muggy. It is like super sunny. Then it's humid. It, it, like the entire time I've been testing it, I've been testing it through like different periods of sweat, if that makes sense. Like it's been super sunny, like hella sunny. Like, oh my God, dying in the sun, sunny. And then it's been so humid that like you just sweat breathing outside. And then it's been like that weird muggy that is just like everything is swampy. I've tested it through all of that and it literally is, so, it's so good. Like this shit is bomb. Like you guys have to try this. If you like something that is more like this and you don't want something that necessarily is as much of a traditional deodorant, this is so good. It does not stain. It does not stain anything. It is so awesome. I love it. it you know, can, AHA is really awesome because it, it can help with like ingrown hairs. If you get those under your arms, this is a deodorant I would definitely check out. It lasts all day. It literally like, these two here are like freaking bomb. And this one to me just changed the entire deodorant game for me. Like it is so freaking good. The Serene Clean scent, it's kind of citrusy. It's really good. It's not like an offensive scent. It's, you know, it's not trying to make you smell like a palm tree. It just smells really nice and clean. That's really what it is. Just a really clean, almost like citrusy laundry like smell, but in a good way. It is so good. I highly recommend. And especially for, you know, women who have discoloration under the arms and have curly hair, which I do, you know, your hair grows out and can, you can get ingrown hairs there just because of the way that your hair grows. And this would be really, really great for helping make sure you don't get underarm, you know, ingrown hairs. The AHA is gonna really help make sure that the hair doesn't get trapped underneath the skin and then obviously creates that bump that is an ingrown hair. So good, highly recommend. Okay, the next two are actually from the same brand and I am so impressed with this brand and I'm really, really excited. So one is in a pot, because I do know some people just like to use a pot deodorant when it comes to clean deodorants and then one is in a stick. So first things first, I wanna talk about the pot deodorant. So this is from the brand Milk and Honey and this shit is fire. So this scent here is the coconut vanilla. The only one I will recommend out of this pot deodorant will be the coconut vanilla. All scents in this formula are not created equal. They're just not, they're not, not, not. You need to check this one out, it's so good. Now, this, one does tend to stain white shirts. So that's the only thing I'm gonna say about this is not all the time, but sometimes it will stain your shirts. But this stuff is bomb. Like it's so freaking good. It just, it's it literally completely makes sure that you're not like super sweaty under there. It's not like swampy as like sometimes it just gets swampy or like you, it doesn't smell like it is so freaking good. It is really easy to apply. Oh my God, it smells so good. You like stick your hand in the pot and then you apply it to your underarm. So if you don't want to stick your hand in pots, which I know a lot of people don't, then this isn't for you, but this stuff is freaking bomb. Like I have reordered this a ton. Like I freaking love this. I will always most likely have this available to use. Um, but if I were to go with any of these, I would probably go with these two. And with these two, it really just depends on your preference. This stuff, I mean, I've already talked about it. These are both like equally in my mind as good and they're just really different, but they're freaking bomb. All right, so the next one is also from Milk and Honey and this is like their stick deodorant. This is their regular strength. So they have two that are in this, like in a packaging like this and one is extra strength or like super strong strength or whatever and then regular strength the regular strength one is really good the extra strength one just to me doesn't perform as well as i would want it to this one definitely performs better and the scent i recommend with this is lavender and tea tree i really like this stuff it is so good 
the scent is oh, ooh, dropping everything. The scent is more earthy with this one, but it is so, oh my God, it's so nice. I, I literally, once I discovered this pot, I came home and was like, oh, I would love to, you know, because I'm not necessarily someone that wants to like, dip my hand in stuff all the time, because sometimes my nails are longer and then there's some shit in there. I just don't want to deal with that at all. But this is really, really good. So like I, like I said, I discovered this, I was using this for months and then I was like, you know what, I want to try a stick one because for travel, this is just so much more convenient than having a pot with you, to be honest. It's so nice. It is more powdery. So with this one, it will, you can kind of get like a little bit of like white underneath your arms, way more than with this one, way more than with this one. Um, cause this one, you really don't get white under your arms. This one, you definitely do with these two. You definitely get like a little bit more this one. You kind of smooth out with your hands. So you don't really have as, you know, you kind of can smooth it out how you want, but with a stick one, it's a little bit different. I really like this. Like this is so good out of these two, this one stains your shirts a lot less. I will say like, it really doesn't happen that often. This one definitely stains more, but again, I'm obsessed with this and I definitely think that this brand and these scents that I specifically mentioned are really, really awesome. I'm gonna do a quick roundup and do maybe like favorites, like what I recommend for like at every day, whatever. So these two obviously are gonna be the most recommended out of all of them, although I do love them all. It just, these don't stain and I think that that is like huge but I will still continue to use those ones, um, especially if I'm not wearing a white shirt. And then I think, especially for all my ladies of color out there and women who get hyperpigmentation and marks, this one would be my like definite recommendation when it comes to that. I get pretty bad, bad hyperpigmentation and I have noticed a lightning under my arms with that. So I think that's freaking awesome. And I would love to know, have you tried any of these? Are you going to try any of them? Please let me know down below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.